John on the Repentless here with Exposing Theistic Ignorance. Today we're going to look at another video from Heleno Henzo, a man who lives in the United States but can barely speak the English language. Don't get me wrong, there are plenty of people who struggle with English because they come from other parts of the world. That's not the problem. You almost need a translator to understand what he's saying when he is speaking English. His pronunciation is studded, stunted at best, and his grasp of grammar makes his presentation that much harder to understand. So let's go ahead and dive into his video, The Real Causes of Atheism. Atheism is always followed by many ideologies. Consistently, people who assert to be atheists don't want jurisdictions of them. They don't want more stipulation. They don't want stipulation on their persuasion of delusions. And no purpose. As I keep telling you on Twitter, atheists say they are atheists simply because they do not believe in a god. It doesn't matter what you think. The assert it is not an assertion to say that one is an atheist. Since morality is a human concept, I really don't get the whole moral stipulation nonsense. Persuasion of delusion? Sounds like you, Buttercup. I've asked before and I'll ask again. Why does there need to be a purpose to anything? It's creation for them. Many people don't want to concede the actuality of God, which implicate the end of space exploration, which are emaciating artists need a resource to explore what obviously was restricted. You keep saying this, but you've yet to put forward any kind of substantial evidence to prove this assertion. As I've said before in the, la the last video I made, you keep ignoring all the advances and all the technologies that have come out of the space industry. No matter how much you try to deny it, the world is a much better place with a space exploration than it would be without the space uh, industry. Many people don't want God to exist because if they do, they have to romage how nature of human body was designed, which shows gender roles, and it is only designed for heterosexuality. The same people who then, for the persuasion of their lust, claim to be humanists, are too incoherent to what captivate them. They don't discern. Defense of ideology creates bautacious counts of views and rounds for humanity, which many are backward, no beneficiaries such as drug consumption, which lead to destruction of mental intellect. You continuously mis misrepresent what atheist believes and putting up straw man after straw man. The design of the human body tells us nothing about genetics or sexuality. Give me evidence that it's only designed for heterosexuality. Why is a male prostate in the right position that can only be massaged or examined through the anus. What the fuck does drug use have to do with homosexuality? Or for that fact, atheism. The statistics show that as many heterosexual men or and women use and abuse drugs as homosexuals in percentage. More Christians use drugs than atheists do because atheism is a smaller segment of the population compared to um, Christians and other religions. It's only intentional ignorance like yours that destroys intellectual capacity. The capacity? Women live in their natural post and trying to do what men are doing already, which is an unnecessary ploy and incapable to fully do what men can, which deploy lead to an imbalanced and handicapped society. Abuse of the body to create sexuality, which lead to the evaluation of humanity and creation of disease, plus it destroys the foundation of humanity, men and women. Gender roles are a social construct. 
the fact that you believe that those roles should be dictated by a book written by a bunch of sexist primitives who thought that women were uh, property sickens me. Not even biological differences between the sexes could, should determine the roles that women can fill in our world. I'll take the I'll take equality over dogma every day. Sexuality does not cause disease. Neither does sin. Yet another thing your book got wrong. Besides, I thought your God supposedly created all life forms on Earth. Last time I checked, germs are a life form. The same people who want peace will never have peace but sorrow. They destroy the system that cause peace. Which is all of us looking to God instead to ourselves. Once again, you end your video with a jumbled word soup of meaningless crap that doesn't tie together anything you say, let alone establish any kind of connection between any of your arguments and your little slideshow. You don't even pretend to present any kind of evidence to, dis to demonstrate that your arguments are correct. You, sir, are a dangerous nut who po poses a serious threat to the sanity and intelligence of anyone who happens to come across your brand of apologetics. This is why I will continue to counter your ignorance and continue to make these videos even if they never become popular. Even if I never become popular. Someone needs to counter your ignorance. And if I have to do it, I will. But that's it for now. Thanks, everybody, for your attention. Um, consider thumbs up in this video, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Until later, remain awesome, everybody.